Anin, hello everyone. A happy International Women's Day. I am going to share a poem that I recently made in honor of International Women's Day and in honor of all of the uh, wonderful women in my life. So this one is called Divine Woman. Divine woman, rest your weary eyes and worries, set them aside, woman. For an older version of yourself to worry about, you are welcome to step off of the pedestal that they have placed you on. Breathe, release the tension in your shoulders, neck, back. The battles will always be there, so unclench your fists and place hands into prayer pose. And thank yourself for how hard you have worked to get here to this moment. Divine woman, my kind of woman working so hard to love herself after decades of unsolicited advice woman, who has called every objectifying name in the book, but returns the book to its owner, has never been much of a fiction reader woman, divine woman, beautiful mind woman, not a forget me not, but a woman you remember. She is the whole fire, not just the embers kind of woman, loud woman. Not a fembot plot twist and bend for you fantasy, living to appease the male gaze, lying naked underneath willow tree. Docile, sweet, submissive, whispering, never yelling, cooking, never burning bridges. Expected to do it all, woman, but she doesn't feel full of these capitalist calories. She has a hunger for community, for connection, was born in a system that fed her lies. She is a more than enough woman. They gave her a manual on how to be a good, real woman, yet they want to pluck and wax off all her realness, put her on a diet, tone her voice down. But she knows she's a goddess and no goddess would dare remove parts of herself, make herself less. Her body's cells are derived from pre-colonial contact, cannot be owned or told what to do. Her parts are not a reference point for abuse or patriarchal profit. She's a prophet of poetry, of self-love, of raging against the system that covers her breast as if it exposed its secrets, make that makes them uncomfortable seeing it in a baby's mouth, but not if it's wrapped in Victoria's secret, divine woman. Knows that to heal from the patriarchal melting pot is to get out of the pot, is to stir the pot. Knows that it is not enough to say sorry or not all men. Is to unlearn sexism rooted in colonialism, is to provide reparations, is to love our women, to respect all women. That's trans women, gay women, straight women, fat women, skinny women, loud women, quiet women, masculine women, sexual women, asexual women, not your women, black women, indigenous women. To acknowledge your existence is because of women. This is for the women who want to have kids, the women who don't, the married women, the women who won't, the poly women, working moms, moms that don't work, the women who wear makeup and the ones that have made up their minds that their freckles are too fine to cover. Not hard to find woman because she's listening to this poem right now. I see you divine woman. And so please stop placing her on a pedestal. She will always desecrate it, set it to flame. She exists to exist and doesn't need to make it pretty. She isn't merely a vibe, but a whole frequency that radiates love, womanhood, and divinity. Miigwech.